I'm thinking back now in the days when I was deployed uh, with our uh, brigade in Southeast Angola. Our mission was to stop the Angolan forces from capturing Southeast Angola and um, especially in capturing Mabinga, which was a main base of UNITA, and then Jamba, further to the southeast. And uh, it was important for us to keep uh, FAPLA, which uh, were the armed forces of Angola, out of southeast Angola uh, from that perspective, in the sense that it would deter them opening up a new front for SWAPU, who we fi were fighting against uh, a counterinsurgency war against. I refer to it as a mythical victory because there was, uh, there was a lot of misguidance with regards to uh, who were, were defeated or not, who won or lost that war. Uh, I mean, we were never cut off. We could uh, deploy quite easily in the area where we were and also withdraw quite easily back to Southwest Africa. So I think what was important about that battle because of the heavy casualties that were ensued and the fact that the Russians as well as the Americans were pushing for peace that the politicians suddenly came to their senses and decided that it was time to, to make peace. Otherwise, this would develop into a regional war. So we were fighting very carefully against each other, not to incur too many casualties and also not allow this war to, to escalate. And, and this happened. I think it was magical that uh, Quetico Nawali happened because this really uh, uh, caused people to talk about peacemaking. When the last major battle was fought on the 26th and the 27th in southwest Angola and our forces withdraw, withdrew from, from Angola, it was decided by the politicians to have a, a ceasefire agreement which was signed on the 22nd of August 1988. And from that, the developments occurred where both America and the Russians pushed for peacemaking and we had the accord which was signed in New York on the 22nd of, of uh, December 1988, which paved the way for all the countries uh, which were involved in the war uh, to embark on peace processes. I know that Angola became, uh, well, they signed a peace agreement between UNITA and Angola in, in 2002. And then of course in South Africa, the uh, the release of Mandela happened in 1990 and after that we embarked on a process which we refer to as the Convention for Dem Democratic South Africa and a Democratic South Africa happened on the 27th of April 1994. Yeah. All in all, I would say that that war led to peacemaking in Southern Africa, which is still lasting, although peace in Africa is never that perfect.